bad, Stephen A., would it be for that bad man, the most talented you've ever seen, to lose to a pedestrian quarterback that you don't believe in like Jimmy Garoppolo? I don't think it would be that bad. Oh, really? Not at all. That's interesting. And let me explain why. Because we have to make up our mind and make a decision as DR, the, doc, <laughs> the doctor of intelligence. That's what he's, I'm calling him DR, not DR. I'm calling him DR. I'm, I'm calling him DR right now. Like That's what he, he, came up, he, came up with, he came up with it, but I like it. I like it. I like what it. What's your thesis on but, but, but it's That's right. But let me, let me say this in all seriousness. We have to make up our minds what we think about the San Francisco 49ers defense. Do we believe they're that elite? Because last time I checked, no matter, Zadarius Smith and those boys can ball, but we haven't talked about Green Bay's defense the way that we talked about San Francisco's defense. So what Jimmy G is facing is, is scheduled to go up against with Monster, Tevin Coleman, George Kittle, Debo Samuel, Emmanuel Sanders, and with the play call and the Kyle Shanahan. What Jimmy G is scheduled to go up against is an entirely different animal based on the football aficionados that the bad man that is Aaron Rodgers. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the brother can go up to go to San Francisco and stink up the joint. He got to show up. But what if Aaron Rodgers shows up and throws for 300 yards and scores 24 or more points in this game, but San Francisco still manages to win this game? How am I going to look at Aaron Rodgers against that defense? We're led by Nick Bosa and, and Brooklyn and those boys. With Richard Sherman in the secondary, all of that stuff. How am I going to look at Aaron Rodgers and go like this? Oh, hell with you. You that bad man, but you wasn't bad. You didn't get, I'm just saying, he, he can't it, stick it. up the joint. He can't stick up the joint. Well, but he can, what if he plays decently well, can, against this defense? Can, 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 can I ask you a question? Sure. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Every time we on this show, Max, right, Molly? Yeah. He all every time it comes to Aaron Rodgers, he always talk about this. Bad, he's, bad, a bad he's a man. bad man. He's a bad right? man. He's a bad, he's bad, a bad man. Bad, a bad man, man can carry can carry teams on their shoulders, right? Yeah. This you, is, I mean, that's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. And listen, for the longest we talked about Mike McCarthy, you know, the reasons why Aaron Rodgers haven't been successful, you know, hasn't. Elevated yeah. higher yeah. as far as winning more Super Bowl. It was Ted Thompson. Mike it was Mike McCarthy. Uh, you know, you know the weapons. It was, you know, not spending money in free agency. <clears throat> well, guess what? You got the new GM. You got the new head coach. You spent money in free agency. You've done all got these a things. Defense, got a running game. Mm -hmm. Got receivers. So isn't the spotlight on one person now? Well, yes. yes. Are we going oh, are we gonna, are we going to keep making excuses? Let me say this. That's exactly right. And now I want to. No, it's not. But and now I want to. Well, I mean, now I want to okay, 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 okay. make okay. a point that I've made on this show before. Dan Marino didn't get any back then. Montana had I was four. Bring that up. And so, and so, the, but the standard has changed because Brady got six. Mm -hmm. One in, one ain't going to do it anymore if you want to <clears> be <throat> called the best ever, right? Mm -hmm. Jim Kelly, zero. He's not in any of these conversations. Mm -hmm. What if he would have won three or four with mm -hmm. those Bills teams? They could have easily done it, mm -hmm. at least two. Mm -hmm. Different story. John Elway was going to have zero. He was going to be Donovan McNabb. Talented, stat producer, got there, couldn't get over the hump. Got a running game late in his career when he wasn't good anymore. Got two. There are people today who will argue he's number one. He's consistently mentioned in the top five of all time. Now, Drew Brees, one. Aaron Rodgers won. Drew Brees has records Aaron Rodgers doesn't have. And yet, we all know that year in and year out, Aaron Rodgers is considered the best player in football. Drew Brees never won an MVP. Rodgers was better than Brees. He will not be remembered in the echelon of quarterback he should if he doesn't win. Because at a certain point, you need you're, to get over the hump. So, you're, you're right. Dummies won't remember him in the echelon of quarterback that he was if he doesn't win another Super Bowl. But I think smart people like us who really understand what's happening recognize that it's not him against Jimmy Garoppolo. Obviously, he wins that. Like, you know, this is a team game. Even if he doesn't play well, we understand that that defensive line is a monster and that he's going up against a tougher team. This, I think that this has an opportunity to change his perception uh, amongst like general fans and his legacy and all that stuff, but I think amongst people who understand what's happening, we know how great he has been, how good his you career. You gotta has. win as an underdog. You gotta slay uh, the monster. I think I he did. He uh, came uh, from the wild uh, card uh, round uh, to uh, win the Super Bowl. Allow me to interject. He came from the wild card round to win the Super. Dominic, one allow me to interject. Been on a lot of good no, no, hold on, hold on. Allow me to interject because I want to throw this to y'all. I want to throw it to y'all by picking up the Dan Marino thing. I remember Dan Marino having Mark Super Duper, Mark Clayton. 
Chuck Muncie and the crew. Their offense was high-powered. I remember Dan Fouts, Air Coryell, Kellen Winslow Sr., Charlie Joyner and the crew. Neither of them had a defense. So even though they lost, what I'm saying is their offense showed up. If their offense didn't show up, then we would point the finger. And all I'm saying about Aaron Rodgers, what if he shows up Sunday and puts up points, but Jimmy G shreds Green Bay's defense? How am I going to hold Aaron Rodgers accountable for that? Floor y'all. I'm going to go back to my original statement. You pound the table every time we, every time here on first take, yes. talking about Aaron Rodgers, how he's a bad he's man. He's a bad man. And you've pointed the finger at everybody else within True. the Packers organization. True. True. And the Packers have addressed every situation that you have brought up, whether it's free agency, yeah. okay, head but coach, what if they general manager. But no, what but if see, they don't show up no, 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 no. See, what I'm hearing from you is excuses. Excuses for Aaron Rodgers okay. right now because we've done and we, we, we've addressed you're everything. Wrong. No, I don't need it. But you don't do that. But you do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. But see, you don't do that with other quarterbacks. But, other quarterbacks but why you don't do that? Because you don't do that. See, there it is. See, he's a bad guy. There it is. Doctor of Aaron Rodgers. Doctor of Aaron Rodgers. Doctor of Aaron Rodgers. The 13 and 3 in the NFC Championship. 13 and 3. 13 and 3. So you mean the great Aaron Rodgers that has a team at 13 and 3? Three, can't elevate he, his team what if he on dro- the road? What if he drops if, if he's a bad man? Answer my question. What if he drops 35 against this defense and they lose? I, I will tell what you, if that I happens, will tell you what I will tell you what, Dominique, will happen. If the other team elevates, you gotta elevate your team beyond it. All right, Russell, that's an Wilson, answer. Russell that's an Wilson answer. almost did it asking. against Green Bay. Russell Wilson, well, you, just, no, you I mean, felt Steve, it I'm coming, just, he couldn't do it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.